introducing Hunyuan T1, a new large language model with hybrid MAMBA transformer MOE architecture, strong logic and concise writing, low hallucination in summaries, blazing fast 60 to 80 tokens per second generation speed, and excellent long text processing. And that is one of the key advantage for MAMBA architecture. And this is a hybrid. Here you can clearly see that this model is in par with DeepSeq R1, GPT 4.5 and O1 model. In MMLU Pro, this is better than DeepSeq R1 and GPT 4.5. For math, this is very close to DeepSeq R1. For coding also, it's very close. And here is the comparison between Hunyuan T1, DeepSeq R1, GPT 4.5 and O1 in regards to various benchmarks. And you can clearly see the dark blue is in par with various other models, the top performing models. And it is released by a Chinese company called Tencent, world's first ultra scale hybrid transformer model released by Tencent. It's a reasoning model with long text reasoning and their API is cheaper compared to DeepSeq R1. Now you can chat with the model both from Hugging Face and also their own website. So I'm going to try Hugging Face and here is the chat interface. First, let me try some logical and reasoning questions. How many R's in the word strawberry? I added an extra R here and clicking enter. And now it's counting the number of R's. Let's see if it's going to get it right. And it got the answer right. Four instance. So one R here and I add an extra R here. So totally four. That is really nice. How many letters in your next response? That is the next question. I was thinking for a long time now. It's trying to prepare the response and trying to predict the number of letters in that response and is going more than a minute now. It's preparing a response first and after that it's trying to count the number of letters. That is quite interesting to see. So if you see the whole conversation, it's a loads of conversation. The reasoning steps is really long. I think it got terminated because of the context length. It totally took more than two minutes now. So probably I'll try restarting this. Not sure if many people are trying to access this page. The whole page itself not working. We can also test on their own website. So I'm going to try that. So I'm asking the same question and it's thinking now, but this is probably in Chinese. Managed to get this hugging face spaces working and I got the answer here. The next response has 25 letters. So if I copy and count the number of letters, here is the answer. The next response has 25 letters. I'm counting that here, ignoring spaces, punctuation, and numeric characters, so 25, that is right. Next, misguided attention test. So here a runway trolley is hurtling down the track towards five dead people. So these people are dead. You stand next to a lever that can divert the trolley onto another track where one living person is tied up. Do you pull the lever? So you shouldn't pull the lever, that's the right answer. Then I start thinking and the answer is not pulling the lever, that is correct. Next, give me 10 words that end with, or sentences rather, end with apple. Here the reasoning bit is trying to write its own sentence and verifying if it is correct or wrong. Here are the 10 sentences ending with apple. So first one, second one is right, third, this is right. For the sixth one, that is wrong. And the 10th one is also wrong. So this is a fail. I'm gonna try some programming test. Python easy challenge, find the discount. Just copying the instruction, asking the large language model to create a function to find the discount. Pasting that here. I can see it's thinking for a long time now. And finally, I got the answer here after thinking for like approximately two minutes. And I'm testing it here. That is a pass. Next, Python hard challenge. Basic arithmetic operation on string number. So copying the instruction and asking it here. I got the code here. Testing it here. That is a pass. Even this took approximately one minute to generate. Python very hard challenge. Identity matrix, copying the instruction and asking it here. And here is the answer, just copying it and testing it here. That is a pass. Next expert level challenge, least common multiple. Copying the instruction and asking it here. When I got the answer here, just copying it and testing it here. Let me copy the error message and trying that here. I got the answer here, just copying it and testing it here. That is a pass. So the issue here, it is the Python version. This system is using for testing purpose. Apart from that, even the previous answer is correct. Overall, I'm impressed with this model. One key thing to note is that even for small problems, it's taking loads of time to think. So we might need to consider using a route LLM so that it can redirect for hard problems to this model and for smaller problems to some other model. 
to keep the inference faster. But I'm really impressed considering it's a hybrid Mamba and Transformer architecture. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like models like this, I also created another video about DeepSeek R1, which I highly recommend for you to watch to see the comparison on how it compares with this model. And I will see you there.